all right fellas let's try and understand the next term which is a relational database management system all right rdbms let me uh, start with a practical example let's say you want to create a database of all the clothes that you have all clothes right so what do you need of those what are the attributes you're going to store the first one is of course the name it is is it a trouser is it a shirt or is it coat or jacket or whatever it may be right uh, to which category does it belong to does it belong to homely does it belong to casual does it belong to professional you might want to store the category over there as well you might want to store the information of the store from which you bought the cloth from because if it turns out to be good you can revisit that store perhaps right or you can do some kind of analysis there you want to see the age of the cloth how old the cloth is and then perhaps another column of whether it's bought or gifted right now once i've decided that okay these are the five attributes i'm going to make a database in which i'm going to store each and every clothes these five attributes over there so i'll just put them in you know vertical columns over here and now after having put them in the vertical columns i'll start entering the data over here each and every row will become what a cloth isn't it the data of a cloth similarly i have many rows because obviously i have many clothes so what does it result into of course it results into what a table something which has a row and a column right it has in fact plenty of rows and plenty of columns right so this is how the table looks like and this is what we call relational database management system because relational database management systems store information in the form of a table and that's how the rdbms have been uh, you know dragging on with their advantages with various businesses since long let's try and understand how, what what tables can do for us let's try and do that now let me take an example of few tables that i've taken from one of the databases that i have let's say this is a table which consists of the sales transaction of certain products or to certain customers in certain sales territory keys right there is another table over here which talks about customers this is all about customers you can see customer customer first name last name birth date marital status gender yearly income and so on then we have another table which consists of tables having product the information about the products right the product key product name sub category category sub cost and what not similarly we have another one which talks about the sales territory key to a certain sales territory key what is the territory belonging to which country does it belong to which region does it belong to and perhaps uh, which continent it belongs to now let's say i have a database and these are the four different kind of database i have a dbms in which i have stored rdbms in this case stored the data in the form of these four tables over here now as we see this is the most important table because this talks about all the sales transaction it has all the common keys over here as well now i want you guys to please pay attention similarly there are other tables as well right we have already discussed this now please pay uh, keen attention over here now if you look at the the first the red highlighted table and the left top uh, bottom left uh, blue highlighted table can we see there is a common element over here the customer key using this i can use the information which is present in these two tables in tandem can i say this can i say that now if i look at it the customer keys are same for every customer key i can see not only see what is their marital status their gender their yearly income their total children education right and we can also see the sales transaction done by them now what i want to say is if i want to analyze what kind of education background customers are buying what kind of product i can do that now or what is the order quantity which is bought by bachelors what is the uh, order quantity which is bought by somebody who is going to who is who's went to partial college and so on like this my point over here is that now these two columns which are let's say are order quantity and education which are initially unrelated can now be related and that is why these two tables are joined in a way they can talk to each other using this particular key called as customer key and similarly if i can just see that there is another sales territory key over here the sales table as well transaction table and now these two tables can talk to each other as well for example if i want to understand what kind of products are sold what kind of customers are there what kind of order quantities are being sold let's say only north america i can do that 
Now, initially, it was not possible because the two tables were different. Now, with relational databases, now once I have the two tables talking to each other, I can do that kind of analysis that what is happening with Europe, what is happening with North America, what is happening with Pacific, what is happening in certain country in North America and so on like this. Similarly, there is another table over here which is having a product key and the sales transaction key table also has a product key and now I can do similar kind of analysis for different kind of products. Now, this is called as a relational database management system in which the information, the databases are in the form of table and there is predefined relationship between these two tables there might be more than two tables as well and now these tables can talk to each other i can do all kind of analysis imagine i can actually find out what is the average unit price of all the products sold in australia which would have been difficult to imagine without the rdbms so that is my friend that is the advantage of relational database management system and this is rdbms